In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve ideal gas law problems. Question 1 reads, calculate the volume occupied by 0.845 moles of nitrogen gas at a pressure of 1.37 atm atmosphere and a temperature of 315 Kelvin. For this, we'll use the ideal gas law formula, which is written right here, where PV is equal to nRT. R is a gas constant and it's provided underneath. T represents the temperature, N represents the number of moles, P represents the pressure, and V represents volume. So what have we been given? We've been told that the number of moles is equal to 0 0.845 moles, the temperature is 315 Kelvin, and the pressure is 1.37 atmosphere. Also, we're told the gas constant, and it's written right here. All we have to do is substitute these numbers into this formula, where P is 1.37 times V, which is what we're looking for, and it's stated right here. So we're multiplying 1.37 by V is equal to N, the number of moles, 0 0.845. The gas constant is in atmospheres, moles, Kelvin, and liters and that fits all the units that we're working with, 0 0.082057. And I'll write the units down just to show you how all the units cancel out. So we have L times ATM over moles times Kelvin. And this is being multiplied to the temperature of 315 Kelvin. So right from the get-go, the Kelvin units will cancel out. And since this number is in moles, which I didn't write, but I can show you, will cancel out with this mole unit. We're looking for the volume, so I have to divide both sides by 1.37 atmosphere. If I divide the left side by 1.37 and the right side, it cancels out here, where we're left with just volume, and the 1.37 atmosphere unit will cancel out with this one. This means that the volume is in liters. Let's go ahead and calculate this. I know it's a little messy, but if you take your time and do it stepwise, it will be a lot less messy. 0 0.845 times our gas constant, and that's being multiplied to 315. That gives us 21.84 for the denominator. Dividing that by 1.37 gives us 15.9427. Volume is equal to 15.9427 liters. We start off with three significant figures in our numbers, so we should end with three significant figures, especially since we're multiplying. The first number to be discarded is this 4, and since 4 is less than 5, it will not influence this 9. So everything after this 9 is insignificant, leaving us with 15.9 liters as our answer. Let's move on to question number two. The question reads, a 0.50 liter tire is filled with 0.552 moles of gas at 305 Kelvin. What is the pressure in ATM and PSI of the gas in the tire? Let's start off by writing out everything we know. We know that the volume is 8.50 liters. The number of moles is 0.552 moles. And the temperature is 305 Kelvin. Also, we know the gas constant, it's written right there, 0 0.082057, and we're looking for P in both ATM and PSI. So we're going to find an ATM atmosphere, and then we'll convert it into PSI. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's substitute all of these numbers into our formula, PV is equal to NRT. Our pressure is what we're looking for, and what I can do from the start is divide both sides by V. If I divide both sides by V, the V's on the left side go away. So technically, we have the pressure is equal to NRT over V. Now we can substitute. The number of moles, as written here, is 0 0.552, and that's being multiplied to this number multiplied to the temperature, which is 305 Kelvin. And this is being divided by the volume, which is 8.50. 8.50 
liters. Let's see how all of these cancel out. The moles cancel out, the Kelvin cancels out, the liters will cancel out, leaving us with ATM. Let's use our calculator. 0.552 times our gas constant, 82057 times 305 divided by 8.50. This gives us the answer of 1.62. P is equal to 1.625. Now, our final answer should have three significant figures because we started with three significant figures. Especially since we've multiplied everything all across, there's no reason not to. Everything after this 2 is insignificant, but it's followed by this 5, and this 5 is followed by other numbers. So even though this is an even number, we're going to push this number up to 3. 1.63 atmospheres. To go from atmosphere to PSI, we use this conversion ratio, where 1 atmosphere is equal to 14.7 PSI. I'll take my number of 1.63 ATM and multiply it to 14.7 PSI over 1 atmosphere. By orienting it this way, the atmosphere units cancel out and we end up with PSI. Now using our calculator, I'm not going to use the rounded version of the atmospheres, which I got over here, 1.63. I'm going to use the non-rounded version, which was 1.625, and I'm only doing that to prevent any sort of rounding errors that I come across. So by multiplying it by this number, 14.7, I end up with 23.88. 23.88, rounding that to three significant figures, we get 23.9. PSI or 1.63 atmosphere. And there you have it. Two examples on how to use the ideal gas law.